Yo, what is going on YouTube? So, currently outside of Diablo Donuts and uh, what perfect location to talk about nutrition than outside of a donut shop. So, I wanna thank you guys for all the comments that I got in my last video. You guys requested this video, which is going to be nutrition guide for Air Force basic training. But the good thing about this is that it'll apply for anybody. It's not just for basic training or for the military. So, all that being said, we're gonna keep this super basic. I'm gonna break out the whiteboard in this video and everything, but uh, let's get right into it. Yeah. Be wrong I wasn't always able to just go and get a dozen donuts like this my nutrition has come a long way so let's go all the way back to the beginning 19 years the first 19 years of my life I spent overweight I was always an active kid but nutrition never clicked with me it, it may have clicked I, I knew I had to eat healthy I don't know I just enjoyed eating <laughs> a little bit too much you know and uh, I have a slow metabolism on top of this, so what that means is I can gain weight pretty easily. All this changed when I met someone who instructed me on the basics of nutrition, which spurred the start of my own YouTube channel, because I, I felt the need to do the same for other people who, who were lost and needed a little bit of direction. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. I want to explain things to you guys in the most basic way possible. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so now that you know my little past with weight loss and where I've come from, we're gonna get into the basics and the things that I've learned throughout my journey and the things I think are the most important. The things I think you guys should really focus on if you guys are starting your weight loss journeys. We're talking very basic in terms of gaining and losing weight, okay? And the biggest fact when it comes to weight loss or weight gain is going to be the amount of calories that you're putting into your body. Whether you track them or not, every food on this planet has a number value. Okay? And that's going to be your calories. I have the worst handwriting known to man. I'm left-handed, as you guys can see. So I hope you guys can follow along with me. Now, our body has what's called a caloric maintenance, okay? And that's gonna be represented by that line right there. That's supposed to be straight. I know it's not. <laughs> These are the basic facts. We have a caloric maintenance. Everybody's is different and that's where it gets a little bit muddy. Um, and this is where your body is almost like a, it's like an experiment. You have to be consistent, one, which is one of the principles, okay? so. First principles is consistency, okay? Number one, consistency. Two is your goal. You have to have one to know where you're gonna go. So you have to be consistent to a goal, okay? And three, adhere to that goal. So all these go hand in hand and they overlap sometimes. So I'm gonna explain it like this, okay? If you're someone who is gonna go to basic training and you know that you have to gain weight, I want you up here. This is you, you're underweight, and I want you to go above your caloric maintenance. It means you have to eat a lot. It means that you're gonna have to put some weight on, get, get a little fat, you know what I mean? Not literally, but you know what I'm saying. Now, by people who are already in this caloric surplus above maintenance, you guys are overweight and you guys are eating more calories than you should. Um, whether you wanna believe it or not, you are, it's a simple fact. Um, so I want you guys to come from up here and go down here, okay? 
So that's you. You know, you're gonna be a little slim little twig. That's what I want you guys to be when you guys joined the Air Force, okay? So these are the basic facts. Every food that you eat has a caloric value. Um, the hard part is finding your maintenance, but lucky for you guys, I've made a video to where I show you guys how I go about my diet. It's called tracking macros and it's super in depth and it's super accurate. So I urge you guys to go watch that video if you guys want to learn how to track your macros. But these are the basic facts. And now that we know that, I think it becomes a lot clearer when you start to put things into practice. like a math equation nutrition is just that as I mentioned previously it's all a numbers game and once you know the basics similar to mathematics you're gonna be able to kill it so certain foods have certain macronutrients and different effects on your body when it comes to your energy levels different foods can make you feel a little bit more lethargic I know a lot of people can relate when they have a big meal typically a big greasy meal or like a carb dense meal. They feel super lazy afterwards. I'm from the East Coast. So a saying that we like to say is we have the itis when um, we eat too much. So yeah, feel free to use that now if, you, if you've never heard that before. If you're super tired after you eat something. As I mentioned in the intro, I'm super grateful to everyone who wants to see these types of videos because it gives me a new avenue to go into when it comes to creating content. I know like um, the interest is there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing full days of eating, full military days of eating in preparation for Air Force basic training or any other branch of the military. Um, and I'm not gonna overcomplicate things. What it's gonna be is basically you guys can see the types of meals that I eat because if you guys see, this is a lot of food, guys. So this is four servings of egg substitute. It's basically like egg whites, it's zero fat. Um, and two whole eggs, an English muffin with some cream cheese on it, a Greek yogurt, and some granola. This is a super high protein meal, um, like moderate carb and pretty low fat. Um, I used fat-free cheese as well. I threw some spinach on here. So when it comes to nutrition, it all comes down to your food choice. I've currently been bulking. As I mentioned before, bulking is eating in that surplus. You're in the positive of that number line. Okay, when you're trying to lose weight, you're in the negative. So I've been bulking or in a surplus or in the positive. And uh, that's allowed me to get stronger. Um, I just recently hit 405 pounds on the squat. Get up! Ah! Fuck yeah! Woo! That's what I'm talking about, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, that was a huge, huge milestone for me, guys. So I'm coming towards the end of my bulk. I will be sure to give you guys ideas for those hard gainers out there that want to gain weight and those of you who want to lose weight. But the biggest difference is the choice in food that you make because this looks like a lot of food but the choices I made are pretty smart to where the calorie count isn't that much but this meal is gonna fill me up and that's the thing people think that just because they eat a big amount of food there's they're supposed to be gaining weight and it all comes down to the numbers game and you have to play it smarter okay so I use Pam spray that's zero calories if you're trying to gain weight, there's some olive oil on there that adds fat calories, like eat smarter. Instead of doing the egg substitute, you wanna do all whole eggs. You know what I mean? You just do six whole eggs, the fat's gonna be higher, etc. It's gonna be the same amount of food, but it's gonna be more calories. Those are for That's for those of you who are trying to gain weight. Instead of doing Greek yogurt, do a higher fat yogurt. Greek yogurt has zero fat. It's just basically protein, zero carbs. Um, 
So just make different choices. All you gotta do is take the foods that you're already eating and substitute them with food that has the calories that's going to take you to your goal, if that makes sense. Let me adjust the brightness really quick. It's getting dark in here. Yeah, so hopefully you guys can see me. But um, that's going to be the end of this video. Um, you feel free to use this meal idea. There's going to be way more to come um, when Karen gets back. I'm going to have her help me film those videos because something about me um, is I hate filming myself cook because I'm a hungry person. Like right now, I have all this food in front of me. I want to end this clip so I can just like kill this food. Um, so when I'm cooking, I setting the camera up, it's just, uh, it's literally like one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to making videos, um, honestly. So I'm definitely gonna have Karen help me. Um, so Karen should be back shortly, um, hopefully. Her rotator coming back to the States doesn't get delayed because there's been some delays, unfortunately, but we're gonna figure all that out. Um, the, the biggest priority, obviously, is getting her back and then the content will be to follow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, it's all about the basics, guys. Carbs are gonna be your main source of energy. If you're trying to lose weight, get your protein up high because it's filling and it's not going to affect your body composition too much when it comes to like gaining fat. But everything in moderation, guys. Anyways, more nutrition content to come, guys. A lot of more meal ideas. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like on it if you did. And I'll see you guys in the next video.